There are so many ways that you can go about creating a YouTube intro bumper for your videos. However, you'll either have to spend money or learn a program that you don't need to learn. And that's why in this video, I'm gonna show you a super free and easy way to create an intro bumper so that your videos start looking legit. Let's go. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar it's Corey with Think Media, and this channel is all about the best tips and tools to help you build your influence here on YouTube. And so if you're interested in doing that, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Now I'll be using a website that a lot of people know about, and that is canva.com. This video is not sponsored by them. However, you can do so much with canva.com from creating your thumbnails, creating awesome social media posts for Instagram or Facebook, and also creating a YouTube bumper. And so in this video, I'm actually gonna create two different ones and I'm gonna do it super quick to show you how easy and fast it is. And I would say more than anything, this video is just to point your direction in this way and how you can actually use this way to create a YouTube intro uh, for yourself. Now I'm gonna show you how you can quickly and easily create a YouTube intro bumper and I'll be creating two different ones. One, I'll be using no assets like photos or video or things like that. Uh, I'll use just what they provide you so you can create an intro without anything. And then secondly, I'll show you if you do have maybe some photos or videos or maybe a logo that you can implement it into canva.com. So with that being said, let's jump into this tutorial. So real quick, I wanted to show you how to initially lay out your video before adding an intro. And so as you see here, uh, I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro, but your editing software probably looks very similar to this. And so I have my intro right here. Uh, and then underneath is my music. Now I just wanna show you, this is a very generic thing I just shot so that you can get an idea. This is my intro. This is my YouTube intro and I'm gonna be talking about this in this video. So let's get to it right now. So I kinda like teed up the intro. And then the next thing that you see underneath is the music. I think it is important that you do find a good song that matches your vibe or even your intro's vibe. And we actually here at Think Media, we use Epidemic and I found a cool track. And if you wanna hear it here, it kinda goes like this. Get to it right now. So with that being said, let's jump over to Canva. Uh, com. And so this is, uh, you know, we got the free version, but you can see all the things that you can actually go ahead and create yourself. Uh, you're gonna, we're just gonna click right here on video. And if you scroll here on the left, it's all your various different templates that you can use to create. And if you just hover, you can get an idea if you can see yourself, you know, creating an intro that kind of has the various vibe that it's uh, giving out. Um, with that being said, like I said, I'm gonna create one intro uh, using no assets on my end. So I'm gonna use what we have here. And one thing we like saying here at Think Media is just press record. So I'm gonna put just on this. Maybe we'll make this black, that's strong. And then uh, we'll add, uh, add a new page. I'm just gonna press. One thing I love about Canva is just how simple and intuitive it is. So I want this to go behind the little strike. And so I'm gonna just right click send to back and now the strikes on top of it, which is cool. So we have just press and maybe I'll make this one white. So it's kind of like contrasty and then change the color of press to the red that I just used. And then we'll do right here. We'll do record. Let me make that white. So that's pretty cool. And so as we can see here on this top right, you can see that this right now is about 16 seconds. That's very long. But individually on the top left, you can actually change the time of each clip. So I'm just gonna put 0.5 because this is just supposed to be like just press record and then it should be done. So the second one's 0.5. And I'll make the second, the, the last one three to five seconds, let's do five seconds. And so you can re uh, review it here. Boom. So I made an intro. I'm gonna download it uh, right here. So we're gonna just jump right back into Premiere Pro. I'm gonna click on downloads, drag that into my file. And uh, let's see this in this video. So let's get to it right now. Sweet, as you can see the tempo, maybe it was just a little too fast. Um, all that to say, you can play with the tempo, play with the time. So that was the one that I created without any assets. Now, I do have this clip on my desktop and it's me creating a kind of like a sh very short montage of videos that I've created in the past. And so with that being said, we're gonna use that as an asset to make this next intro. 
And so let's just hop back and create a new one. And the one I wanted to use was this one right here. And so we're gonna start a new page. And then simply, again, I just love how easy it is. I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna put this Think Media and then make this Think Media. And then as far as just uploading uh, whatever assets you have, if it's a logo or what have you, you're just gonna come over here to uploads and then we're gonna upload media device and then I'm gonna upload this intro piece. Now I'm gonna just click and delete this guy. Don't know who he is. I know who this guy is though. And we're just gonna drag it about halfway of the, the text. And it's again, it's short. Your bumper shouldn't be that long. Hypothetically speaking, if you wanted to trim it, you can click on this uh, left side and you can trim whatever clip you did or put whatever you wanted. But we're gonna keep it as is because I think it's fine at five seconds. And that's pretty much it. I mean, if we wanted to switch up some colors of things, so if I clicked on this guy, change the color of this to a red, and then this one to a red. If you wanted to change any fonts, just simply select on any font and then drop the scroll down. And they got a lot of good ones. Let's use Horizon for this example. Maybe make it like 85. Kind of like that it's on two lines because it fills in the black. I like that. And then, you know, if you want to just duplicate this, I'm just going to, just to not just save time, copy, paste. I'm just going to remove this guy out of the picture. Sorry, buddy. And then definitely want to rotate this to read that way. I love that it, everything just locks in place too, you know, just to make sure you're like either centered like that. Uh, let's make sure this is centered. Boom. Now just to like talk through some customization things, you can change the way things animate. So I'm going to click on this star. And as you see over here, you can see the, the various different ways it could uh, move and stuff. Rise is actually pretty cool. So I'll keep rise. And then what do we have here? Rise, pan. I don't know, it's kind of a lot going on, whatever. For the sake of this, you can even add elements. So right here on the top left, there's various different elements. If you don't have the paid version, then you can't use some of their assets, but for the most part, you know, you can use something. Like if I wanted to even put this cloud thing behind me and then send to back, like look at your boy in space though, you know what I'm saying? All that to say, you, the creativity is obviously as far as you'd like to go, but I'm just gonna keep it simple like this, download it. Now, as that's downloading, if you're getting value in this video, let me know by hitting that like button. Thank you so much. And be sure to share this video with somebody else that you know has a YouTube channel. And a uh, question for you is, what is your YouTube channel about? Let me know down in the comments below. And now that it's done downloading, we're gonna open up Premiere, and I'm gonna drag this intro into Premiere right after mine and let's just see how it is. This is my YouTube intro and I'm gonna be talking about this in this video, so let's get to it right now. So that's how you create a YouTube bumper for free using canva.com. That just took a few minutes and we created a couple of them, but you can play around with the text, the colors, the shapes, get creative. And if you make a YouTube bumper, be sure to tag me on Instagram if you wanna show it on stories. I'd love to see what you create. Uh, you can tag me at Omar Altacori. would love to see what you're doing. Uh, also, use Canva to do things like title screens. Maybe you have three to five points in your video. You can actually render out like title screens, you know, with motion backgrounds and, and transitional text and things like that. But get creative using canva.com. I think it's one of the greatest resources for YouTubers today. And so thank you so much for watching this video. If you wanna see another video, Video that'll help you with your YouTube channel. Click or tap the screen, and I can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace. Yeah.